Hi. Christmas in America is so commercialized and culturally removed from religion that a lot of movies about it don't even mention your boy JC. In movies, Christmas is about family and generosity. Easter is also a Christian high holiday and also highly capitalized, filling stores with plastic grass, chocolate eggs, and stuffed bunnies. They're also both represented by a non-denominational serial trespasser. But what is Easter about in movies? I watched 10 Easter movies to find out. I only picked ones that I could find in full on YouTube because I did not want to purchase that many movies and I do not know how to pirate. Not that I would if I did. I also want to make it clear that I understand the origin of the holiday from a Christian perspective as well as some of the pagan elements that have been adopted. And obviously I am aware that many many people observe Easter and Christmas for that matter religiously. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Of course, I am very in support of freedom of religion. This is just about examining media. Now let's get into the meat of the video. I thought I'd start out with a classic franchise. Not that one. It's the Easter Beagle Charlie Brown is the 12th installment in the series of TV specials about that bald little boy whose friends all hate him. In this one, the gang dyes eggs for the holiday, but they mess up several times and have to go to the store to get more. <laughs> and at the store, they're already selling Christmas decorations, which I thought was very funny. And I guess speaks to the over commercialization of holidays, like I touched on in the intro to this video. decorations up. Good grief. There's really very little message to this about Easter other than that it's all about eggs. Easter Bunny Kill Kill is an indie horror film about a disabled boy and the killer rabbit that takes revenge on his abusers. The worst of which is this guy, the mom's new boyfriend, or Jay Schlatt in 10 years. Hookers. Hookers and a cocaine of hookers. <clears throat> I don't think it's horribly done for something so obviously low budget. And the portrayal of the disabled boy was not atrociously offensive, to say the least. At the end of the day, according to Easter Bunny Kill Kill, Easter is all about family. And revenge. I also want to mention that the pet rabbit that appears in the film is unharmed by the end, and the actor's name was Granny. The Easter Bunny is coming to town today. The Easter Bunny is coming to town is a stop motion film from legendary animation company Rankin Bass. I had high hopes for this because I grew up watching some of their Christmas specials, um, but I'm not sure how much this one lived up to the hype. The Easter Bunny is coming to town tells the origin story of the Easter Bunny, who is in fact coming to town. He was born in a mountainside town whose residents consist of only orphaned children? Are you alone? Where are your parents? He decides to take some of their eggs to trade with the town on the other side of the mountain that I guess is just a normal town with like adults and doctors. And there's all kinds of issues and hijinks that lead to the traditions that we know today. I found one! Me too! The kids are having so much fun looking for the eggs. I think that from here on in, I'll always hide them. The story was weird, but okay. Um, the music was not very memorable to me besides like one chorus of Big Rock Candy Mountain. But the message about Easter? Slightly religious, but mostly eggs. Let's all have a happy Easter! There's that rabbit! First Easter Rabbit is another Rankin Bass special and it tells another origin story for the Easter Bunny. So I guess the RBCU subscribes to the multiverse theory? In this one he starts out as a beloved stuffed animal who is magic alive when his owner contracts scarlet fever and has all of her possessions burned. And the narrator says this extremely raw line. What's the use of being loved if it all ends like this? This one is somewhat of an outlier in that it does not put a huge emphasis on eggs for some reason. There's that rabbit, that rabbit, far from your typical jack. In this special, Easter is about hope. Also, Santa plays a weirdly pivotal role, but I guess that is neither here nor there. Here Comes Peter Cottontail is the final rank and vast that I watched, and this is how you do an Easter special. This is what I'm talking about. Our main character here is Peter Cottontail, as you might expect, who is voiced by Casey Kasem, AKA the original Shaggy. And our antagonist is voiced by Vincent Price, and his name is Iron Tail, because he has an iron tail. Instead of having a nice, fluffy, white cottontail like that Peter. 
And if you say it looks like anything else, you're being ableist. This is a medical prosthetic and nothing more. So Peter and Irontail are competing to pass out the most eggs and become the next Easter Bunny. Irontail is doing this for nefarious reasons, obviously. I mean, I love a leather trench as much as the next person, but look at him, he is clearly evil. Peter is the favorite to win, so he parties all night, but this causes him to oversleep and miss the entire competition. So what's a guy to do but travel through time to visit every major holiday with the help of a French caterpillar? Hello, hello, hello? A worm? Pardon, monsieur. I hold the rank of caterpillar. It's tale as old as time. This is definitely my favorite out of all the ones that I watched, and at its core, it says that Easter is about hope and responsibility, and of course, eggs. eggs. Honey, honey. From highest highs to lowest lows, Easter Replacements is easily the worst movie I watched. The description reads, A fighting married couple is hosting Easter Sunday dinner for two other couples. For various reasons, the invited couples have to back out of coming to dinner, but they send replacement couples to the dinner instead. Word proximity is off the charts in this description, oh my gosh. It, it's a strange but somewhat intriguing concept, but I knew it was not going to pan out well for me when they mentioned the Proverbs 31 wife within the first five minutes of the film. Because behind every good man is a good Proverbs 31 woman. Oh, brother! This movie is religious, but strangely does not really mention Easter's story or lesson all that much. Um, but then again, it is barely coherent and I was watching it on two times speed, so I might have just missed that. The theme of Easter, according to this one, is that the patriarchy is good, actually, and also weirdly pro-bank propaganda. Banks help people. Loans, investments, they help our society move forward. That is pretty sloppy, I must say. Daffy Duck's Easter show, which aired in 1980, is just as silly and somewhat racist as you would expect from the Looney Tunes franchise. There are three shorts about Daffy guarding a chocolate factory, migrating north, and finding a golden egg. It's just kind of goofy, I don't know. Mostly what it has to say is that Easter is about chocolate and springtime and of course, eggs. My horoscope tells me that something big is rolling my way. Easter Bunny Massacre is another indie horror film about British people. A group of college students go camping over Easter weekend and share a dark secret. Cheers. 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 This is supposed to be a college student? I know things are rough in England, but damn. When they reunite a year later, they are picked off one by one by someone in a bunny mask. This movie is very, very slow, but I did like the story and the mystery, and it had some really great cinematic shots. As for what it says about Easter, nothing really, it's just kind of the setting. But I guess it's a mean Easter bunny because Easter mean bunny. Oh my god! He's gonna hide Easter eggs. Pieces of Easter is an independent film written, directed, and starring this man, Jefferson Moore. It tells the story of a young businesswoman who becomes stranded by car troubles and hires a local man to drive her the rest of the way home in time for her family's Easter celebration. We're just so glad you came. Happy Easter to you. Happy Easter. This film is pretty religious, but don't let that fool you into thinking it's some wholesome family entertainment. Dove.org gives it a language point for one use of the word idiot and one use of the word but. It's disgusting. In this movie, Easter is about family and forgiveness and also eggs. <laughs> Finally, to the most anticipated title on this list, Ice Age The Great Egg Escapade. Unfortunately, I am not really up to date on Ice Age lore, so I had no frame of reference for who like 80% of these characters were. But basically, Sid the Sloth is egg setting for a dozen animals. Sid's got a dozen eggs in his care. This is not gonna go over easy. When all the eggs are stolen and the gang must go on a hunt to get them all back because Easter is about eggs. I want to wish you all a happy Easter as well as a blessed Ramadan, a happy Passover, and simply a joyful celebration of any holiday you might observe this time of year. I hope you're able to do so in peace. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Here comes Peter Tatatel. Blah 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 blah.